Bro, keep making the beast, man. OG Bo Beat. Listen, I think a lot of people gonna regret getting this shoe. That's just my personal opinion. This is a dope shoe. Um, yeah, y'all sleeping on these. What's happening? It's your man OG Bo Beast T. Come here today. No special video. What's good? What's happening? YouTube. It's your man OG Bo Beast, and I'm back with another video for you today. So today I got some dope, dope shoes that released last year, but I'm just now getting my hands on them for basically a steal. I had to get them. Been looking at them for a while, so we're gonna do a detailed review of those shoes so you can check them out and I can check them out. But before we do that, please make sure if you haven't already subscribe to the channel. Like the video, share the video, leave a comment once you watch the video. You know I reply to all comments. It's your man OG Bo Beast. Let's get right into it. Hey, boom! So check it out, check it out. So as you can see, I got this box here. Hadn't even opened it yet, right? Just got dropped off a couple hours ago. It was sitting on my doorstep waiting on me when I got home today. So we're going to do an unboxing, and I'm going to see it for the first time. You're going to see it for the first time. And yeah, we're going to do it like that. Before we get into that, I just want to say make sure to check out my recent videos. I did a review on the upcoming Air Jordan 5 sale that I want to get people's opinion about before it drops April 13th so I can know, you know, what I plan on doing. Today on sneakers, they dropped some dope Air Max 95 ATL suede with the red color tones, the kind of the Atlanta Hawks colorway if you will for the air max 95 one of my favorite shoes so check those out if you haven't and then they dropped those orange knock the joints it's crazy orange those sold out you know what i'm saying because it's a lot of hype behind those but it is what it is other than that it's a pretty slow week they dropped those converse patterns today uh the chuck taylors and then just another pair of converse so it is what it is but this shoe right here let me tell you let me tell you i've been looking at this shoe for quite a while and actually just the model itself, I was trying to figure out which colorway I wanted. I caught a crazy sell on these on the Nike app. I just couldn't let it go because the shoe's original price point is kind of high. So I was able to get these for way less than half, but we're going to talk about that. Probably already know who it is, of course, because you see what your boy rocking. So let's go ahead and get into it. Open up the package. All right. All right, so here we go. You see the box, you should already know what it is. Dope box, white and gold. All right, you see that logo, you see that signature, you know that's Bron Bron. All right, you see you got 21 in Roman numerals on this side. You got the LeBron logo on this side. Very, very dope box. All right, very long box too. So as you probably already know, we are talking about none other than LeBron 21. So LeBron James, one of the greatest players to ever play the game. Some say he's the greatest. That's up for debate, but we're not talking about that right now. Definitely one of my favorites. 20th, 21st year in the league. All-time leading scorer in the NBA. Um, just one of the greatest players of all time. Four-time champion. You already know the stats. So his shoes are dropping. And I'm going to tell you something. For me... I think he's coming to an end. We might get another good two years out of LeBron if we're lucky. And then it's just going to be over with, right? And then his shoes are going to start to pile up as far as, you know, collecting them and everything like that. So I'm just trying to be ahead of the game because, you know, it's going on right now. So a lot of people don't see the future. But I think LeBron's shoes is going to be dope in the future because he's going to stop making the ones that he's wearing because he's going to stop playing. But let's get into the shoe. So LeBron 21, these are the black metallic pewter iron gray. This is a size 11, my size. Check out the label. All right, so this is basically the LeBron 21 Tahitian. Now it's a bunch of LeBron colors that have came out in the 21. It's like once they released, they just started dropping pairs and colors and it just got a little confusing. These originally released the 21s at least in September of 2023. This particular pair released November 3rd of 2023 for a price point of 200 bucks. But because of the discounts on Nike, because of the discounts I'm able to get, 
I was able to get this shoe for 85 bucks, including shipping. Like just a crazy, crazy price, way more than 50% off. So I had to get them and see what it was about. And uh, so you gonna see it along with me. Open up the box. You got some crazy, you know what you call that type of paper in there. Pearl, I don't know what you call that. All right, but you see the paper. All right, underneath you got some white paper. Got a little tag in here showing you the LeBron model of the 21. That's a cool little tag. All this type of stuff matters for sneaker heads, for real. So let me go ahead and check out the shoe. So this is my first look, y'all. Yep, crazy, crazy, man. Crazy, crazy. Are y'all ready? Here we go. Boom! Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. LeBron 21 Tahitian. Check it out. All right. Dope shoe, man. Dope, dope shoe. Exactly what I expected. Shoe is very lightweight. I like the feel of the shoe. So I'm going to tell you what attracted me to this shoe particularly because it was a close call with this one and the other one that's like the Lakers colorway. I forget the exact name of the model, but it's the, the, the purple with the gold hints. Those are more like a Laker colorway to me. Uh, but I like a black shoe. I try to just get the, a black shoe for any of my favorite shoes just to start off. And this right here just had that look that it was something special about this and i think a lot of people gonna regret getting this shoe that's just my personal opinion this is a dope shoe um yeah y'all sleeping on these so um like i said retail for 200 i got it for about 85 bucks including shipping and this is just a this is just a cool shoe man let's do a go ahead and do a quick review so this is a performance shoe so on the outsole of the shoe you see you got like a translucent green very light green almost look like it could glow in the dark outsole with a bunch of different patterns on there, which I heard is real good traction on the basketball court. All right. Um, so also midsole on these, you got that zoom air. I heard these are also very good cushion and soft with the zoom on the, on the midsole right there. So it's a nice layer of cushion for when you're jumping up and down, playing ball, nice grip, nice cushion. And then moving up to the upper, man, you got this dope, dope black upper like i'm still trying to figure out what this is is this suede or what i think this is some kind of suede but it's also got another feel to it um but anyway the the, the color on the upper is supposed to represent uh something called a tahitian pearl all right it's giving you this pearl look that's why you see the shininess into it and then you see the nike swoosh with the undertone of the nike swoosh right there uh, very dope Basically, on the heel of the shoe, you got what they call an iridescent colorway, which is also dope. So you get a bunch of different hues like purple, green, blue, and all of that when you look at the heel of the shoe a certain way. Um, moving up to the, to, uh, to the tongue and the laces, you see you got the little lace tab right there with the Roman numeral 21 on it. See if y'all can see that. All right, then you got black rope laces. You got like a, a mesh tongue. And then at the upper top of the tongue, you got LeBron's signature. And then you got also more of that suede, velvety feel of the material at the top of the tongue. All right, inside the shoe. Woo! So you have a black sock liner, which is kind of silky. You have a black insole with a logo of LeBron's hands holding four rings. See if you can check that out. And then behind the tongue on these, you got that the same kind of material that you have on the A Mama Nears, that padded stitching, that luxurious type look. I really like that look. That's a dope look. Check that out. I mean, this shoe is a very dope shoe. And then again, on the heel of the shoe, you got a little clear button right here that has 21 Roman numerals. You see, you got these little ropes. Okay, and I also forgot to forget inside the shoe and you can actually feel it so the shoe on the inside of the shoe to keep the shoe together is uh constructed with the lime wire which is what this is and actually some lebron 21s just dropped a couple days ago with the lime wire on the outside of the shoe all right with the shoe connecting and that's pretty dope those are cool too but 
I gotta catch those on sale. But as you can see, it's basically this right here on the new ones that dropped and it's all on the outside of the shoe. And here it's under here. You can actually feel it. You can kind of see it a little bit if you press on the shoe and look at it a, a certain kind of way. And then on this inside of the shoe, you see you got the full stitching of the Nike swoosh right there. So this is just a dope shoe, y'all. I'm, I'm very glad to get these for 85 bucks. Um, performance shoe, LeBron, one of the greatest of all time. Very cool shoe, dope shoe. Um, so this is the 21, and I wanted to do a quick comparison. Now, a lot of people say that LeBron, this is a low cut shoe. You know, LeBron had the high cut. A lot of people say LeBron making these look like the Kobe's, which in fact they kind of do. I should have pulled my Kobe's out. But I also wanted to show y'all a comparison with the LeBron 21s. Now these are the LeBron 20, I mean LeBron 20 Christmas edition, aka Grinches or whatever you want to call them. But as you can see, another low cut shoe. Very similar, very similar to the 21. Alright, pretty much the same. Same type of midsole. They just changed up the vibes a little bit on the upper. Um, but yeah, so that's the 20. Check that out. This is a very dope shoe right here too. I had to get my hands on these. I think this is going to come back to haunt some of y'all that, that passed. And then this is the 21 Tahitian. Dope shoe, y'all. Very, very dope shoe. Let me know how y'all feel about these in the comment. I'm telling you, these were sitting on Nike for less than 100 bucks. I went on there a few minutes ago and I saw that they was out of size 11s, so they are going fast. I went and looked on StockX and they're going for 100-ish on StockX, which is obviously still well below retail, um, but I still paid less than what they cost on StockX and that's what shipping. But yeah, leave a comment down below. Let me know how you feel about this shoe, man. LeBron 21 Tahitian, had to have them. Big LeBron fan. Um, hope they go far this year in the playoffs. I don't think they're going to win it all, but it would be great if they did. Anyway, like the video, subscribe to the channel. It's your man OG Bo Beats, and I'm out. Peace.